car traffic made worse today because of a gate system breakdown at the port. It didn't last long, but long enough. It caused more trucks to back up on 526 coming into the Long Point Road exit, which is also home to many local businesses. So we sent news to Sophia Arizoza to find out how truck traffic like what we saw today affects those businesses. It is a problem. It was bumper to bumper. It Man. gets ugly. Yeah, it gets very ugly. Backed up for miles. Then all the trucks are backed up, and then, everybody, and then the road rage comes in. Everybody's jumping lanes. Everybody's trying to get in, getting out, trying to beat the truck. A problem not uncommon at the Wando Port entrance in Mount Pleasant. It backed up all the way on 526. Sometimes it gets to the Daniel Island Bridge. Today, it was due to a crash in the system. But locals say it's a stop and go they deal with regularly. You gotta time it so you're like, you don't get that last like three to five, you know what I mean? Like, and that you just go, you're like, you're like, now I won't even use 526 to come home. Like, I'll jump off 526. Dustin Hatfield is a bartender at Two Blokes, a local brewery on Long Point Road. He says the truck traffic hurts local businesses. No one can pull in. People don't want to drive down here, um, especially when it gets backed up and no one wants to come down 526. And those who did come out for happy hour have had similar experiences. I used to work at a software company locally. And I would have to miss appointments due to the backup of the trucks. A problem so bad it's caused businesses to leave the area. I had a friend that had to move their business over to 17, the T cut, because they couldn't get any foot traffic. No one would drive down Long Point because of the trucks. Chelsea Jones is a dog handler at Pooch Palace, which faces the port's entrance. She too feels a strain on business. We would have almost, you know, quite a heavy business, which was good for us, but now it's actually declined quite a bit. For now, they say they'll keep hoping for patience as their customers make their way through the trucks. The port spokesperson tells me the system was down for an hour today and it had to be rebooted. It was back in full operation at 4.30 this afternoon and the gate remained open until 8 p.m. to try and relieve some of that traffic. Reporting in studio, Sophia Arizoza, News 2. All right, let's talk about the weather.